um, our band from the very beginning, um, we, we had an old name called 138, um, and it was me and a, uh, another girl that I was friends with, and we started doing like some acoustic stuff and singing together and kind of writing some songs together. She would write stuff and I'd write stuff, and we'd you know, kind of get together on things. And then um, we had an offer, well I had an offer, somebody contacted me from my church and was like, hey, we're putting on this concert, we'd like for you to play. And I said, can, can I get a band to do that? And um, they said, yeah, that'd be great, you know, let us know. And so I, I tried to get a band together. And really at that point, it was just we formed, uh, Justin asked me to be in the band and, and we formed to really just play this one show. Um, just so, you know, Justin and, and our previous singer, Steph, could just play out in front of the church and stuff, and, and um, we, we kind of started doing it. And we realized that people could like us. You know, we started practicing and doing stuff together, and it just worked. We connected with each other, and it was going great. We did um, this concert called the 315 concert, because it was on March 15th, and so they called it the 315 concert. And that was our first show together, and it, you know, we didn't really suck. So we thought, maybe we can keep going with this. Um, and so we did. And uh, throughout the years and throughout everything, we've had different people come and go. But from that point on, we started, you know, getting more serious about it. So that was awesome, you know, we were doing really good and um, soon after um, the girl that I said was playing with us and singing with us left and so it was just us four guys. We just had me um, and Dan, Jordan and then the other guy named Preston was with us. From then it's been, um, you know, sort of the same deal for us. Um, we've had uh, Alex come in place of uh, Preston and then we've had Jimmy about a year ago um, come and replace Jordan, a bass player. And so from then on, we've just been growing. We're kind of on the same page. Our lineup has changed, but just us playing together has, has fused our musical interest and um, it's helped us write what we honestly want to write. You know, just all liking the same things. We, we hear ideas from different bands all the time and it's, it's, um, it's helped us get a sound that we're all comfortable with. Playing with these guys, it, um, it lets me go crazy a little bit. When I'm when I'm playing drums, I just I like to let loose occasionally, and they let me do that, which is kind of fun. Um, but we all connect on a personal and a musical level, um, and that is something I play with a lot of musicians. I haven't played in another band, but I've played you know with other people, and I've never really had the connection musically that I have with these guys. Um, and even when we're practicing, we're not, not even when, when we're playing a show, you know, it's just when, when we really feel something you can tell. And that's how our songwriting goes. Um, it's just when somebody starts playing something, you know, I could get into it and then Jimmy gets into it and then Justin gets into it. And it's just something that we really feel. Um, and we, we move as a group. Um, and the stage presence part of it, it's a lot of fun really digging into the songs and um, 
just displaying the passion in all the songs and uh, it's a lot of fun just basically playing music. about stuff that's going on in my life. Um, I write, you know, different styles of writing. Um, you know, some of it's pretty sad and some of it's pretty hopeful, but at the same time, it's always bringing the same message that um, we are here to be light and a dark world, you know, and that there's all these things that go on in my life and a lot of people, you know, the same thing, um, but there's hope, there's light. When, when I, try to describe lamps and voices to somebody, it's something that, that I want them to know is that we try in every note that we play to just give people hope in, in life, you know. We write songs um, about plain old life, you know, and, and we all believe in the same thing, but just on another level we just want in a literal, I mean, the, the reason we have the band name is just to put light in absolute darkness, you know. We want to go out, we want to meet people at our shows. We, we honestly want that personal connection. That's what it's always been about. You know, a lot of people have this, this, this vibe when they go to a concert that the band is up here and the audience is down here. And we just want to talk with people about regular life, you know. Um, we're going to make all the music we can make and we're going to make all like graphics and look cool and whatever. But honestly, when it comes down to it, we just want that personal connection with our audience. My dream for the band is, you know, when we go to shows, we pray before every show. And every time it comes up in a prayer, it's not like we plan on saying this in, in every prayer, but we do. It's that if one person in this entire audience, in this entire room, if one person can, can feel hope because of what we do, we've accomplished everything. And you know, I obviously want the band to get bigger. I obviously want the band to, you know, I want to make this a career. This is my dream. And so many things have been going the right way for us. And I want that to continue. But when it all comes down to it, my dream for the band is just to provide hope. You know, it's, it's just to live out what we're about um, at every show that we play. And I want to keep playing shows. Uh, I want to keep playing with these guys. Um, I love the guys that I play with. and just to, to, to be able to continue that adventure and to talk to people in the audience and make those connections would be a dream come true for me. My dream uh, for Lamps and Voids, it's not fame, it's not success, it's not being on the main stage at Ichthus every year, um, but my goal is to just reach as many people as we can. And as how cheesy as that sounds and how corny as it sounds, it's, it's the truth. And I think all of us, deep down, even when there's stuff in front of that, um, it's what we want, you know. 
We don't want to just play music and see how far we can get with this. We want to play music and see how many people we can reach and see how many people can see us and see Jesus. Um, you know, that's always going to be our goal no matter what. And we want people to look at us and say, man, you know, these guys, there's got to be something behind what they're doing. And we want to be able to tell them, you know, when they ask us, like, why do you guys do what you do? And we just simply say, it's because we believe that Jesus can change the world, and we believe that He already has, and we believe that He will. Yeah. I thought that was a good jam. That I was thought, good. That was, that was pretty good. solid. I don't know. I felt pretty good about that one. <laughs>